Hello. On a morning in April of 1997, a party of the Emsworth Maritime and Historical Trust members assembled on the quay at Emsworth to see a plaque unveiled that had been commissioned by the Trust in memory of J.D. Foster, the major builder of the old wooden oyster ships in the heyday of Emsworth's reputation as a shipbuilding area. The plaque was to be unveiled by Dr. Margaret Rule, the current president of the Maritime Trust, and the ceremony was attended by the mayor and other notables from the Emsworth area. Unfortunately, the day was somewhat overcast, and in particular there was a strong wind on the quay, so that the sound quality on the coming tape is poor. Nevertheless, we will attempt to explain what is happening as the pictures go along. The party assembled on Emsworth Quay by the slipper mill, and then making its way down the path with Dr. Rule in front with the mayor and the chairman of the Emsworth Trust, the party of members followed to see the unveiling ceremony. John Glanville, John Saunders there, Adrian Fox, Braun Sams, among the many people present. Even the curtain which had been draped across the front of the block was being blown aside by the wind, and the conditions made it difficult to get any sound. There's Mrs. Fox with Adrian. Mayor with the Lady Mayoress in the background there with Dr. Rule standing by the brick pier ready to unveil the plaque when everybody's assembled. Strong Sands on the left, Pam Clayton coming through, followed by Bruce Doctor Pratt, all long standing members of the Emsworth Maritime Trust. Already the cat has been blown aside, so we're getting a foretaste of the beautifully prepared cast plaque that is on the wall behind. how she remembers this part of the harbour in Emsworth, having grown up in the area, made the name obviously as a marine archaeologist uh, thereafter, but still has a fond affection for Emsworth and its harbour area. days when Emsworth was home to the oyster fleet, which used to go out and bring the shellfish back, forming a major industry in the town at that time. A few years later, I heard that a group had got together to try and preserve one of those ships, which was called the Emsworth. Referring now to the work of David Rutkin and the Pioneer Corps that formed the original Emsworth Maritime Trust in those days to try and preserve what remained of Echo, the last of the oyster fleet, which was derelict on the mudflats in the harbour. dressed for the weather. Margaret 
tracing the history of the Foster family and how J.D. launched out and formed his own boat building business. Descendants of the Foster family are still being found in the Emmons area and indeed have made a number of donations and contributions to the Emsworth Museum, which also contains pieces that remain of the old oyster boats, in particular of Echo. John Briggs, one of the other founder members who's just crept into the picture behind the Lady Mayoress, or behind the mayor, I should say. Introducing the mayor. Sound quality further influenced by the aircraft passing overhead. Now we're joined by Ray Cobbett, the county councillor for Emsworth, wearing his Maritime Trust sweatshirt behind. responsibility for the whole of the Haven Borough area, describing Emmersworth as a delightful place. It truly is. Now, Chairman, welcome the assembled company back to the museum, which is a few short steps away, to take some wine to keep out the cold and the wind. Uh, a chance for those that haven't seen the new exhibition for 1997 to view the exhibits. So with a last look at the attractive park, a place where it can't fail to be seen by many people that use the harbour wall, farewell from the short ceremony. Thank you. 